This is my review on the Holy Bible. This is a Knox version. And um, yeah, this is quite unusual. This is actually a Catholic Bible. So yes, it will have the Apocrypha in it as well, which it does. Now this, this is by Burns, Oates and McKnight in London. It is a hard copy Bible. It's quite a small sort of Bible. It's not a, not a large Bible, but the size of a but the size of a, uh, a pocket a pocket Cambridge Concord it is, I'd say. Now, um, little thing, little bit about this this Bible. The tra translation come it's come from the Latin the Latin Vulgate in light of the Hebrew and Greek origins. It's a Catholic version of the Bible. So, they, he act, this actually came out in 1945, the New Testament, and the Old Testament came out in 1950. Now, I have both here in this copy. I have a Old Testament and New Testament in this, and this was done in 1965. And we start at the beginning of it. And there's your front page. I call this a school edition. I don't know the difference, but yeah. And here's your back. This is the other cop. It's not acid free paper, as you can see it is going a little bit yellow around the sides, but I still thought it was a good, this book was actually given to me by a friend, so I thought this would be nice to just keep on my, keep in my collection, and plus I don't have any Bibles that have the Apocrypha in it, so I was quite interested in reading those, so. And there's some more of the Old Testament. And then we have the books in the New Testament. Which I'll just slow down. I'll slow that down if you want to read it. You can pause it and read it later. And we're going to the Old Testament. As you can see, the verses are on this side and on that's on the other side here. So, there's not that much greater difference than the King James, really, oh, sort of, in the beginning of time. Um, God, at the beginning of time, created the, the heaven and the earth. And like I said, this is actually copied from the Vulgate Bible, which is which which is actually Latin. There's no references in this Bible, like cross references, but it does have a lot of footnotes at the bottom, which I find are quite interesting. These are. So, and, yeah, as you can see, quite a few footnotes at the bottom. On the translation to say um, the Greek, you know, like the Hebrew form here, see, throughout the chapter of the Hebrew forms, it gives you the cross references with that, also cross references with the Septuagint as well. I found a couple of that related to that as well. I just thought this was quite interesting. You've got you've got your headings at the top. And you've got Kings 1, 2, 3, and 4. You do not have Samuel. Well, you have Samuel, but, you know, it, it, it yeah, yeah. So here you go, here. I 
I just thought this was really unusual. Here are the other books from the Apocrypha. No, it's quite a reason. It's quite a good print in this too, so it's still quite readable, even though the pages are a little yellow. They're not brittle yellow, which is which is good. So, which is still quite good. And like I said, there's lots of footnotes in this Bible. And we're all going to the New Testament. We'll get through. See footnotes. Maccabees, so then we'll go into the New Testament after the Maccabees. That's normally how it works. Oh, okay, we've got some maps here in the middle. The maps in this are only black and white. There's no colour in this book. No. No, they're still good detailed maps. You can still read them, and then we go into the New Testament. So if you want to pause this at any time and just you know, have a look at the translation compared to the translation that you're reading. And at the back of this, it is sewn too, so it's not actually going to fall apart. Well, it hasn't fallen apart yet, so that's a good sign. But I don't think it's had a lot of use either. I was looking on eBay, and um, yeah, these actually sell for quite a bit of money. I was quite surprised. Not that I'm selling this, I'm just showing this, and this will be going up on my bookshelf with the rest of my rest of my reference books. So. And at the back, I think you've got a few more maps. I think spectacular, or maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. So I thought that was interesting. So that's my review on the Knox version of the Holy Bible. So just remember, I mean, this translation came from the Vulgate. So yeah, because he was requested in um, Ronald Knox. The guy's name was, he was requested in 1939 by the Catholic Church of England and Wales to undertake a new translation of the Vulgate with using the, using a contemporary English um, um, writings. So yeah, and he came up with this one. So yeah, I thought you might find that quite interesting. I hope you liked the review and thank you very much for watching. Bye.